Well, Yolanda Fields with the city hopes those nonprofits can get the grant money in the next two to three weeks. I spoke with one nonprofit who says they are relying on this grant. All of our women are still in need of services, especially during this pandemic. April Backrout works for Magdalene Serenity House a free two-year program for women who have experienced trauma, addiction, and incarceration. We wanted to use the CDBG funds to make sure that we were still able to provide those essential resident support services. The nonprofit helps reintegrate women into the community. April says now more than ever, they need the extra support. It's really important that we continue to provide these services and help our residents maintain their daily routine so they can continue to move forward in their recovery recovery and healing. Yolanda Fields, the Fayetteville Community Resource Director, says in the past five years, over $2 million in grant money has helped fund nonprofits in Fayetteville. But because of COVID-19, the CDBG will receive additional funding. The city of Fayetteville is always trying to be ready to provide assistance. But before the city can move forward, housing and urban development must approve the funding. They're being inundated right now because of COVID-19 with needs. As for April, she says this is one of several grants the nonprofit has applied for since COVID-19. It really does take a community to help these women fully heal and recover, and we are really thankful to be part of the Fayetteville community. Now, Field says in a few weeks, the city will be offering a grant program for unemployed residents. An application will be coming out in the next few weeks. All that information will be found at the Fayetteville website. Live in Fayetteville, I'm Kendall Ashman, 4029 News.